please send the next one in? Thank you. Will you please state your name and the role you are reading for? My name is Alex Bear. I'm auditioning for the role of Eve. Whenever you're ready. My name is Beth Cunningham and I'm reading for the role of Eve. Thank you. We'll, uh, we'll be in touch. Whenever you're ready. Solitude sometime. One more time, please. Innocence once. Whenever you're ready. I need you to speak up a little bit. Okay. okay. Shit. Sorry. One second. Thank you. Very good. Let's move on. somebody else. I've got something much more exciting. You're a star, Cassie. Sienna has dropped out. They're looking for another bankable talent and I've put you forward. I'll go and Rosie to send you the script. Oh, you're a sweetheart. <laughs> no, you are. Now fuck off back to your fabulous life. How are you? Hmm? Who got it? It doesn't matter. They said they're going to cast a net white, but I think they're going to go for a name. Yeah, but I am a name. I know, darling, but it's just not worth very much right now, is it? I won awards playing that part. On stage, six years ago, this is a $30 million screen adaptation. I know you wanted this, but I did warn you, you weren't ready. We needed more time for you to work on your new image and get your confidence back. And you haven't worked in over a year. Listen, why don't you take a break? I don't need a break. That was my role. It's not a request. Take some time. Forget about Eve. I want to know who stole that role from me. It was five minutes, mate, yeah?
Hello? Hello? No, they're gone. Really? Don't worry. If they're still here, I'll totally fuck them up. <laughs> okay, I need this. Where are you going? Paying the cab. I don't know, she seems edgy. I guess it's just somebody being in the house when we're away and she's not very comfortable with it. Liam? Mate, you know I love Carnival. It's Alex. I don't know, it's just... There's too many people. She's not good with crowds at the best of times, you know that. Because she gets recognised too much. It's got to be a threat. I wouldn't say that necessarily, Mr. Carroll. Then what would you say? It's fake blood, sir. You know anyone who would possibly have a reason to do this? No, no one. Miss Bayer? Alex. Any fans? Hmm? Anyone approach you on the street? Anyone a bit, um, a bit off? All the time. Hmm. Oh. Probably someone making a statement. Maybe they didn't like one of your movies. Oh. Any colourful tweets? Any letters? Any emails of a threatening nature? Normally my agent takes care of all that stuff. Can we talk to him? Her, actually. Uh... There's really very little that we can do, Mr. Carroll. You handed over the keys. Well, I handed the keys to my friend Toby, yes. You know him well? Very well.
Well, that's it. You're fucking done here. What? It's unbelievable. In case you hadn't noticed, you have a slide in your living room. This place is always going to attract a certain type. As I said, there's very little we can do. Oh, nothing that you want to do. You know, last week we had an old man mix acid into his neighbor's moisturizer. Hmm. Said he couldn't stand her face anymore. And? You would be amazed at the lengths that people go to to get noticed. You have something nice or a little bit different. There's always someone who wants to tear it down. People like you, people in houses like this, everybody wants what you've got. Somebody wants your life. Somebody wants to cause you pain. Probably someone we know. But nothing's been taken. There's no structural damage. Most likely you ended up with an uh, art student who saw all this and maybe took the carnival spirit a bit too far, huh? If we get any leads, we'll be in touch. Morning. Hey. How's it going? Venus can't get here to the weekend, so. But you started it yourself. I did. I want you to feel comfortable. Oh, in your own house. Mm -hmm. 
That was nice. I am very nice. Mm. We should take a shower now. Because I'm also very, very dirty, so. Dirty. <laughs> I need to go deal with this, okay? Do you want some coffee? Coffee's good.
Your eyes are dead in these. What about this one? Well, it's puffy. And it's miserable. And that's miserable. Sorry, Cass. She's calling again. What should I do? Put her through. Cass, hi, it's me. I'm back, and I'm feeling fantastic. Just a minute. I want these all redone, OK? And call me after the audition. I'm feeling incredible. I've been meditating, and now that I've had some time off, I am ready to come back. I have a small role casting tomorrow. Is it a good role? It doesn't matter. I'll send you the script. Look, just turn up and do what they ask. And don't fuck it up. OK. Fine. State your name in the role you're reading. Can you state your name? What's your name? What's your name? I don't know how you do it. I'll never be able to sleep again. For fuck's sake, Susie. Oh, well, you let them in. Yeah, well, I thought she was OK. She looked respectable. How was I going to know she was such a freak? Huh? But maybe she'd been wearing sandals. Mm. I might have seen the warning signs. I'm just <laughs> saying you're a braver woman than I am. I would not want people staying in my... Here we go. What? She's never going to let this go. Let's not have a domestic, you know. Oh, people are starting to stir. Sorry. So, my brother wants to stay for a couple of days. Uh, a whole week, actually. It's my brother. He's not some stranger. No offence. I just don't want to share my space with yeah. people I don't know. Very. So he has to rent a hotel room, and I've spent hours on the phone to my mum telling me how I need to be more family oriented. Still, at least he won't smear shit in the walls. <laughs> Tobes. Too soon. Uh, what did the police have to say? Oh, do you know what? They couldn't give two shits. We sent them pictures, we emailed footage, they just gave us the same old bullshit. You have footage? Guys, I reckon it was Banksy. I wish he was Banksy, because then I could charge him a tenner to take a look. <laughs> Tight kit. What? Do you think? Make some money at the same time? You know, I read about this couple. They let their place out like you guys. Came back to a gangbang. Oh.
sorry. I can't.
thanks. I like the ones this morning. I prefer the ones now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good. Change that quickly, please. This is not going to happen now. OK, can I get the camera ready? Good work. Thank you very much. Hey, this is Liam. Leave a message. Hey, it's me. Um. I know things are a bit weird between us right now, or maybe I'm just being a bit weird, but, um, can you... Can you just pick up your fucking phone? All the way down to the end. Good luck. Thank you, Heather. We'll be in touch. Sorry, um, who am I reading with? Forget the script. Forget the script. I'm gonna try something different. Look in the mirror. Don't be shy, it's only you. Our character confronts herself. It's a mixture of narcissism and naive curiosity. She needs to discover who she is. Reflection is not just who you are, it's what you will become. And, um, do I say anything? No. Just dance. Then he put her in Sarah's outfit.
doing it? Don't ignore me. Beth just called. You're lucky she's not pressing charges. I think you and I have come to the end of the road. There's nothing left to say. Do you know what? I think we should do something fun this weekend. Give the coast. The coast? It's freezing. We don't have to swim. I don't think it's a good idea of going away against the scene, do you? Adjustment for the day. It's a nice thought. But work is crazy right now. I've got some stuff to sort out. Shooting. Like I said, it's been a busy day. I can imagine. You know what? You've been begging me to be at home, and now I am. I get this. All right, I've never begged you for anything. Are you sure about that? I'm going to be honest with you, Alex. Really? You're going to be honest with me? Since we got back, you have been moping around this house like a, like a moody bitch. And now you've had a bit of wine, you want sex, and I'm supposed to just smile and be grateful? But you're supposed to try and not be an arsehole. Oh, it's too late for that. Obviously. Alex, I...
Liam, I'm gonna kill that skinny bitch. Fuck! Liam? 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 Liam?
Hey, this is Liam. Leave a message. Hi. It's me again. Where are you? We need to talk. Carrington calling in that paradise lost. He says it's urgent. Oh, okay, put him through. Hi, Cassie. I need to talk to you about Eve. That's what we've all been missing. I like happy Alex. Uh, as opposed to no fun, crazy Alex. Well, Liam thought I should drop by just in case you were lonely, Alex. Who called you? No, oh, yesterday. At least he answers the phone to one of us. Oh, Susie. Uh, I think she thinks that I have a thing for you. <clears throat> Do you? Who wouldn't? Uh, I should warn you what you'd be getting into. I bit him yesterday. Ooh. Do you think he's avoiding me? Why would he be avoiding you? Oh, did he mention I was hearing things? Oh, that you've gone fucking batshit crazy and should be seconded? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's more that.
Liam, leave a message.
please state your name and the role you're reading for. My name is Alex Bayer, and I'm reading for the role of Eve. Where joy forever dwells. Hail, Horus. Hail, infernal world. And thou profoundest hell, receive thy new possessor. Alex? Hi, it's me, Cassie. Well, it seems like you've been keeping secrets from me because I've just had a call from Ben Carrington and he saw something in you that, well, frankly, terrified him. And he wants you to play Eve. We're back, Alex. Alex. Alex, are you there? i 